President, please be seated. President, veuillez vous asseoir. The court is now in session. L'audience est ouverte. The chamber continues to hear the remaining testimony of the witness, Mr. Pechum. Ms. Sekolbouté, please report the attendance of the parties and other individuals at today's proceedings. Greffier. Mr. President, for today's proceedings, all parties to this case are present. Except Mr. Sonarun, the National Co Council for Nunji is absent for health reasons. Mr. Nunji is present in the holding cell downstairs. He has waived his right to be present in the courtroom. The waiver has been delivered to the graffiti. The witness who is to continue his testimony today, Mr. Bicham, and his duty counsel, Bicham, are present in the courtroom, and there is no reserve witness today. President, thank you. President, je vous remercie. The chamber now decides on a request by Nun Chir. The chamber has received a waiver from Nun Chir, dated 24 April 2015, which states that due to his health, that is headache, back pain, he cannot sit or concentrate for long. And in order to effectively participate in future hearings, he requests to have his right to participate in and be present at the 24 April 2015 hearing. Having seen the medical report of Nun Chi by the duty doctor for the accused at the ECCC dated 24 April 2015, who notes that Nunji has a chronic back pain and it gets worse when he sits for long and recommends that the chamber shall grant him his request so that he can follow the proceedings remotely from the holding cell downstairs. Pursuant to the above information and rule 815 of the ECCC internal rules, the chamber grants Nunji his request to follow today's proceedings remotely from the holding cell downstairs, YN audio visual means that applies for today's proceeding, and the AV unit personnel are instructed to link the proceedings to the room downstairs so that Nunji can follow it. And before the chamber hands the floor to the Avant defense the team. The chamber would like to advise Mr. Pecham that the chamber received information that you are not feeling that well this morning. And if you need a break or need to uh, use a bathroom, please uh, don't hesitate to inform the chamber. Thank you. And the chamber now hands the floor to the defense teams to put the questions to Mr. Pechum. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, good morning, Your Honors. Good morning, Council. Um, Mr. President, if, if you allow me, I would like to start with two preliminary points before I uh, ask questions um, to the witness. Um, first is the matter of um, the time that is left to us. Is it correct that we pretty much have all day um, to ask questions? Um, and my second uh, question is, relating to um, two statements that the witness gave uh, to the, um, no, I'll just refer to the documents, that's E127-7.1.1, and E127-7.1.3. Um, there are a few passages in these statements which are uh, redacted. 
Um, and I'd be actually interested in um, reading the answer that he had given to the investigators. Um, of course, there's um, difference, I think, in situation now with the charges in cases three and four. Um, and the moment that we were given these uh, statements. So I was wondering whether it would be somehow possible to receive the unredacted versions. I know it's a, it's a late request. Um, um, but I think it's relevant because, as the prosecution indicated, it might be possible that this witness is not returning at one point in time. So my question is um, related to specifically Question and answer 44 and 45 in E127 7 slash 7.1.4 and the redacted versions or redacted uh, excerpts in E127 slash 7.1.3 questions A1 and A2. Can, can I just ask a clarification? What exactly are you asking for now? Um, the unredacted version. The, to be able to read it or to obtain it? Obviously. Uh, well, 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 possibly um, this morning uh, or in the break. Uh, thank you. Um, I can inform you a little bit. We. We noticed this and a number of weeks ago uh, made a specific request um, to authorize the release of the redacted, unredacted versions. Um, we, we haven't received that authorization yet, but we, we did file a motion a number, a number of weeks ago, maybe th three, at least maybe three weeks ago. Um, the other thing I can tell you, I think, without, without uh, of, of violating it. The, the information that information one of the reasons we asked for that is because the information that's redacted in here uh, actually appears in, in other part other interviews that are unredacted. Um, so I, I think I anticipate that we will get that authority at some point. I don't think uh, it will provide um, uh, significant uh, anything new than what Je council already knows, but we have made that request. Um, I would be La very happy to hear from. Maître Sorry, Coppe. Mr. President, may I Monsieur briefly reply? Not yet translated. But ah. Nous attendons la fin de um, I, I understand that it is um, the decision is pending, but I would be Et very happy to hear um, in which documents. Mais j'aimerais savoir dans quel document il s'agit, uh, dans quel document apparaissent uh, les réponses qui n'apparaissent pas Something dans funny? le document 127. <laughs> well, in effect, that's reading it out. But Et my en fait, question to the prosecutor is, is there any chance through informal means to get a decision today on that or an answer to your request today from the investigating judges? Um, I'll send an email uh, to my to the office to see if uh, we, we have a rather major filing going on today, but I'm sure someone uh, can, can go over and make an inquiry uh, to see if, if that's possible. Formuler les demandes nécessaires pour voir si il est possible de uh, thank répondre you, à cette um, demande. Mr. President, uh, and no reaction from my first, on my first question, so I, I, I presume that we have all day. Donc que nous avons bien um, la Mr. Pekchim, um, good morning uh, to you. Monsieur Pekchim, um, I, uh, le président interrompt. President. Council uh, Copper, uh, in fact, uh, you should have uh, one full day so that the defense will have an equal time uh, through the prosecution. However, we gently remind you uh, not to put questions that have been prohibited by the chamber, for example, uh, leading questions, and that would uh, just uh, drag on and waste the time. And I am confident that you are well familiar uh, with this issue and instruction from the chamber since you've been a council for so many years. Um, 
I will do my best not to ask any leading questions, Mr. President. Je ferai de mon mieux pour ne pas poser de questions dirigées, um, Monsieur le Président. Mr. Pekchim, good morning. Um, Monsieur Pekchim, I would like to re revisit a few issues that we discussed uh, yesterday. Um, I have a few follow-up questions in relation to the sector chief Saum. Des questions de suivi um, sur le chef de secteur. Is it Saum. correct that uh, his wife, Chit, with Chat, uh, is still living and that she lives vie. somewhere in Malay, Malay district? Dans le district de Malay. President, uh, rather witness, yes, that Le is uh, correct. Oui, c'est exact. Um, yesterday, we also spoke about Saum um, and his um, political views and political stance. Um, would you be able to tell me the same thing about uh, Com? Was there similarity uh, between Saum and Com in terms of political views uh, in the period 70-79? Allant jusqu'à 79. The, both of them actually had the same uh, point of view in terms of uh, political stance as they both uh, followed the party's lines. However, they were different in terms of uh, gender and in terms of the uh, level of education as the female uh, Com was young. Madame Com était jeune, en effet. And uh, she was young, she left uh, the district for a period of time, for a short period of time, and returned so that she knew only a few uh, senior cadres. But was Com um, also very rigorous in her political stance? Was she uh, radical in her policies, just like uh, Saum was? Through my observation, they were both uh, hardline followers. Or radical, or in Khmer, we would say they were pure red. And that would be the reaction that, would you, that you would receive from people living in the district. Um, are you aware that um, also Chuchet, um, in his confession, talked about Sam as being very oppressive? Avait dit dans ses aveux que était I withdraw the question. Je retire la question, dit Maître Coppe. Um, Mr. Beckham, can you compare? Saum and Com in terms of political stance with uh, another District 105 person, a woman named Boone. Um, If you compare the two women, the Boon was of a better status, both in terms of popularity and work achievement. In terms of popularity, que de travail et de ce qu'elle arrivait à accomplir. Would you be able to give an example why you think Boon um, was better? Political stance uh, than Com. She 
she was more mature than a more experienced. Elle était plus mûre, elle avait com. plus d'expérience que Com. Com was young, so Com her jeune. knowledge was limited. Ses connaissances étaient donc limitées. However, limitée. they Cependant, both were committed les deux to the très party. Um, last question about uh, Com. Um, et dévoué au parti. You have testified that um, she, uh, she died quite early um, and that she had died of a swollen stomach disease. What do you mean with a swollen stomach disease? Gonflé. Qu'est-ce que vous entendez par là exactement? I did not know the actual cause of her death. J'ignorais la cause exacte de sa I only knew that she was savais, sick and I actually took malade. care of her in district 105. Before her Et death, she became mentally avant cela, avant unstable mort, and she cursed a lot, instable. especially she was cursing me a lot since I was taking care of her. Moi, elle jurait beaucoup après moi parce que je m'occupais d'elle. And then we had a Vietnamese uh, Ensuite, physician nous avons eu un to treat her. We uh, her condition uh, somehow became better, but later on quelque peu amélioré. she uh, followed uh, her husband. Mais par la suite, elle that a is suivi about a year mari. after she was discharged. Après. La fin de and ses then uh, we heard that she died, and probably she died from the edema, that is, the, uh, her abdomen area was swollen. Do you know uh, whether that had something to do si with uh, reasons of lack of food, or did it have other reasons? I think it, it would be better if a, the treating doctor can provide that uh, explanation to you, because I can't. Very well, I understand your answer, Mr. Peck Chim. Um, I would like now to move on um, to another point, it's, it's a small point, uh, but I want, to be, uh, I want to have clarity on this. Um, during your testimony today and uh, yesterday and the day before, you specifically um, said that you left uh, District 105 in February 1977. Uh, however, uh, this question was asked to you as well by the investigators. Um, that is question uh, document. Document uh, E319.1.18, question um, 172 and 173, Mr. President. Um, question, uh, I will read that to you, Mr. Peck Chim, and then I want to uh, hear your answer. The investigators ask you, in your interview with the Office of the Co-Investigating Judges on 25 October 2009, you seem to say that you arrived in the Central Zone on 12 February 1977. Now, you have just said you arrived on 14 February 1976. Were you confused with the year, or did you recall the year wrongly? Your answer is... I arrived in the central zone on 14 February 1976, not in 1977. Um, so just to be clear, um, what is your answer now? Did you arrive in February 76 or in February 77? I'd like to uh, make an amendment to that statement. 
through uh, 14 February 1976. So in fact, before that, I had attended a, a study session at the party school where uh, Nunchir was an uh, instructor. Then I left for the area. L'animateur et puis ensuite je suis parti pour cette zone. So uh, I was there for two months and 14 days before I was transferred to the central zone. À la zone centrale. So the definite answer is 1977. Is that correct? Votre réponse définitive est donc 1977. It's 1976. I apologize. I, I, I mis, misheard you. Um, and did you have no business anymore in Trumkok district after February 1976? Yes, that is correct. Réponse, oui, c'est exact. Um, I would like now, Mr. Pekchim, to show you a document. Maître Coppa, à présent, Monsieur Pekchim, je souhaiterais uh, vous montrer un document. Il s'agit d'un document au sujet duquel vous avez posé des questions. Uh, statement. Um, to one of the investigators. Um, Mr. President, I would like to show uh, to the witness one page from document E3 slash 2107. And um, I would like to show him the uh, Khmer ERN 0068049. Um, Yes, uh, you may proceed. President, allez-y. I will shortly give you the English ERN. Maître Coppe, et dans un instant, je vous donne le ERN en anglais. Um, Mr. Mr. Witness, I would like to take you um, to your answer that you gave uh, to the investigators, that is document E3-5786, uh, question and answer 39. Meanwhile, um, Mr. President, the English ERN is 0029020. Uh, Mr. Pechim, I would like you to Monsieur have a look Pechim, at the document and then I would like to read your answer that you gave regarding this particular page uh, and then ask you um, whether your statement is correct. French? French ERN 006 um, 55729. Question. Question. Uh, here is a document with uh, ERN 00068046 0068082 000 that I would like you to read. We want you to reach page number 4, which has ERN uh, 49 at the end. Your answer. The substance of this writing said 
the re-education center 105. La de ce Up ci to date, le de we have smashed the enemy 105. of 15,000 persons. Please, the party be informed, the re-education center 105 signed on. This writing was really the writing of An, who was the chairman of Grand Tachan re-education center. These writings seem to belong to two writers. The two lines at the bottom were An writing, starting from Please, the party be informed, down to the signature which was signed by Anne. But I do not know whose writing were the four lines above. My first question, do you remember giving this answer to the investigators? That was the matter uh, dealt with and and the district chairperson come. And from what I can see, the handwritings are of two individuals. So it is hard to say that uh, the statement is 100% accurate. And in this uh, particular report, uh, it was about the uh, total number of uh, people. And of course, uh, Anne knew about this. As for me, I was not uh, aware of this, as I did not have anything to do with this report. As I worked elsewhere, Moi, and if effet, there ailleurs. was any uh, request to me, then I si uh, would uh, receive it and then demande, submit it to the uh, district chief for consideration. Mr. Pekchim, it seems to be a bit odd that this uh, this note relating to 15,000 um, possible victims at Krang Ta Chan uh, is divided into two handwritings, or is consisting of uh, two handwritings rather. Can you explain us why it is that you say these are two handwritings into one uh, annotation on this document? Um, Mr. President, my objection is simply the, to the leading part of that question, which was suggesting that there was something odd. Uh, that's, in fact, contrary to the testimony of this witness, who has explained that it was uh, not unusual for uh, other people, assistants, to write the substance of text. He testified that a number of times. So I have no objection to an open question, but uh, leading the witness by suggesting there's something odd about it is inappropriate. Um, I find the discussion on, on leading questions a very interesting one. Um, since I think the prosecution is not doing anything else but asking leading questions, so, uh, so I think I should be able to ask this question. It's also cross-examination, um, what we're doing here. So I think I should be able to ask whether it's all yes or no that this annotation which Je seems to play an, an important role si in the closing order, uh, consists of two uh, handwritings, whether that's odd or whether that's usual. I think that is an entirely appropriate question. question. I, I agree if he asks if it's odd or usual, it's, it is inappropriate. Then, then he's not leading. Si cette, uh, bizarre ou inhabituel, ce Fine. Pas une um, <coughs> is it Soit. usual or is it odd that in this Annotation, we can distinguish um, apparently two handwritings, two forms, two different um, handwritings. Um, I think the question was about
In my view, I think that the report was correct. But there were two different uh, handwriting. Uh, down below was uh, belongs to one person, and uh, five uh, lines above that was uh, another person. I cannot uh, comment on it. So it was the uh, practice in Anka, and it was Anka's methods, and it is up to the chamber to decide. I, it's beyond my capacity to comment on this. Um, I, un I understand. I appreciate your answer, um, Mr. Peck Chim. Um, we might need um, a specialist on this. Um, I have a question relating to um, possible forgeries of uh, documents um, in Tramcock district. Now both uh, the earlier mentioned Boon and Tassan, who was also questioned here in this trial chamber, talked about the existence of forgeries of documents in Tramcock district. Dans le district de Tramcock. Uh, can you tell us anything about whether that is correct? Were documents forged uh, in Tramcock district? And if yes, uh, how did that happen? Thank you. Thank you. That I do not know. Réponse, je ne sais pas. Would it be correct to say that before February 76, you did not hear about documents being forged? Est-il vrai que vous n'avez pas entendu parler de faux, de documents qui auraient été des faux? No, I did not. Hear anything about it? Réponse. Non, je n'en ai pas entendu parler. Um, I would like to turn now to another subject, Mr. Pekchim. Maître um, Copé, je vais passer à un autre sujet, Mr. Pekchim. A uh, statement that was given by Il um, a cadre originally coming from Trumcock District, but later, uh, who later moved to uh, Sector 25. And I would like to read a passage from uh, his statement to you, and then I would like to ask your reaction. Que vous Mr. À President, que vous uh, that is document Il one two seven slash seven point one point eight <coughs> English ERN zero zero nine zero one five seven zero Khmer ERN zero zero eight nine three two seven six seven 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 six I don't or the French ERN zero zero nine seven eight six four eight Zero zero nine seven eight six four nine. Question five. Hello, hello. Le président. The president, Mr. Uh, Victor Coupe. Uh, could you please repeat the year and numbers plaît, again, and please uh, slow down uh, for the uh, accurate record? Uh, I apologize, Mr. President. That is Khmer zero zero Maître Coupe, eight nine zero zero eight nine three two seven seven. Seven 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 one five six nine French zero zero nine seven eight six four eight zero zero nine seven eight six eight. Um, so the question 
Mr. Pekchim, to this cadre is as follows. That's question five. As the Kampong Sui Commune Chief, did you receive an order from the upper echelon to arrest people? As part of the Kampong Sui Commune Committee, I did not wish to harm anyone who did something wrong, but the commune level had the right to report to the upper echelon. I had rights to report to the upper echelon. For example, when people did not have enough uh, rice to eat, or when they produced only ton, two tons of rice per hectare. With this regard, Grandfather Mock issued an order that the commune, district and sector levels did not have the authority to make arrests or kill people. Question. What levels did the commune level have rights to report to? The commune level had rights to report to the district level, but in order to make a report about a person, the commune committee of five to seven members had to hold a meeting to have an agreement before making a report to the district level. Question. Grandma, grandfather Question. Mock said that Vous the district and sector levels did not have the authority to kill people. Why were many people killed in the district and the sectors? Answer. I did not know either about the implementation, but I recall Grandfather Mock's remarks clearly. Was Grandfather Mock in the zone committee? Yes, he was, is his answer. And now comes the important part, um, Mr. Beckham. When did Grandfather Mock make Réponse this announcement? Question. Quand Mock a-t-il annoncé être le chef de la zone? Grandfather Mock Réponse. made this announcement Tamok prior to 1975, 1975 during a wrap-up meeting held annually in Forest, annuel, participated by the commune, district, and provincial committees communes, and, et and the regiments. Ainsi que les bataillons et les régiments. After 1975, there Après was 1975, another meeting in the provincial town of Takeo in the presence Takeo, of Grandfather Mok and Saum, who was in the Sector 13 committee, announced that soldiers with the ranks from second lieutenant to colonel were not, were not to be harmed. Question. You meant that soldiers from the ranks of second lieutenant to colonel were not arrested? I did not know because the implementation was varied from sector to sector. End of quote, uh, Mr. Pekchim. Now, this southwest zone cadre, who um, worked in sector 25, talked about two meetings in which um, uh, Tamok uh, announced that soldiers with the rank from second lieutenant to colonel were not to be harmed. Uh, my first question, were you present at either of these two uh, meetings? Uh, Mr. President, I, my objection is he's just misstated to the witness the, what he just read. Uh, the witness described one meeting that had to do with who had authority and a second meeting on the issue. So there were not two meetings on the issue of ranks. We don't know that, but uh, he's talking about two meetings. I'll, I'll formulate it more neutrally. Um, Mr. Pekchim, this Southwest Zone Cadre, Sector 25 Cadre, talks about two meetings. Um, meeting uh, prior to 1975 and the meeting after 1975. Do you recall having attended, have, having attended either one of these two meetings? Vous souvenez-vous avoir participé à l'une de ces réunions? I only attended uh, the meeting after 1975 uh, behind the uh, party uh, office uh, where Tamok also attended. 
and the meetings that were held was held in the forest uh, i uh, did not attend maybe it could have been come uh, attending the meeting uh, it was uh, hardly um, possible to convene the meeting of all members il était presque impossible de réunir tous les membres en même temps um, I understand, so I, I will focus on Question, je uh, that second meeting in the me provincial town of Takeo. This cadre talks about after 1975. Would you be able to tell us uh, more exactly when this meeting uh, took place in uh, Takeo, during which uh, Tamok and Tassom were present? réunion à laquelle Tamok et Tassam étaient présents. In Takao, it was after Réponse. the liberation. La réunion de Takao a eu lieu après la libération. Uh, in Takao uh, province, the meeting was held after Dans la province de Takao, uh, 1975. La réunion a eu lieu après 1975. Uh, it was uh, held in one of the houses along the river edge, uh, north, north part rivière, of the provincial town. Au nord du chef -lieu de province. That was a uh, learning session over there, and the uh, sector committee and district committee including uh, military committee attended. But uh, as for those who were designated with other tasks, uh, they were uh, absent uh, in that meeting. And of course, that meeting was held then, uh, and there was that announcement. You remember, uh, Mr. Pekchim, that yesterday we spoke Question. about a four-day meeting uh, in May 1975 in Phnom Penh, a meeting between 20 and uh, 24 May. The meeting in Takeo province, was that after the meeting uh, in Phnom Penh uh, on 20 May and further 1975? Uh, the meeting held in Takao uh, took place uh, after the meeting in Phnom Penh. Um, for clarification, um, there were a lot of meetings uh, held here and there at that time, so I may be uh, I, I may be confused uh, myself. I did not know which uh, happened uh, first and which happened later. At that time, we did not keep proper records. We did not have the recording system. We only took a few notes. So uh, those whom, those meetings which I convened and I prepared myself, I could recall. I attended uh, very various meeting, and then I uh, got the instructions, and then I disseminated the instructions, but there were several meetings uh, held uh, here and there at that time. I cannot recall them all. Um, <coughs> but do you confirm the statement of this southwest zone cadre who told the investigators that um, Tamok announced that soldiers with the ranks from second lieutenant to colonel were not to be harmed. Do you confirm this Southwest Zone Cadre's statement? Yes, that is correct. But uh, the announcement was made uh, here and there, and I did not uh, know uh, specifically where he made that announcement, but I can confirm uh, the statement that that was the uh, announcement at the time. Um, do you remember if any other cadres from District 105 si uh, were present at this meeting. More specifically, do you remember if Boon was present si at this bon meeting as well?
No, he was not. Réponse, no. Uh, if I refer to the meeting held in Takeo province, Boon was not there. Uh, he would have talked at uh, 25, or he may have heard from others, and then he spread uh, the words. Uh, that uh, could have been possible as well. I uh, hear in the English translation that you refer to he. Um, but it is in fact she. That's correct. Uh, we're talking about the same person. Right? Boon. Boon or Boon? Let me uh, ask for clarification. You are referring to Boon or Boon? Uh, boon. The, 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 the woman that we spoke about earlier, whom I ask, about whom I asked you to compare her with uh, Com. Yes, that, yes that, uh, that's correct, uh, the oui, woman. Uh, uh, for that, uh, Boon was uh, present uh, in the meeting Boon in uh, Takao. But in the meeting Takeo. held at uh, uh, Sector 25, uh, it was uh, Boon. Uh, Boon was a man. Boon, qui était un homme. From, uh, <coughs> um, do you remember Maître roughly Coppe. how many people uh, attended this Vous meeting. Vous vous approximativement du nombre de participants à cette réunion? Approximately 50 to 60 people. Réponse environ 50 to 60 people. There were representatives from the military, from de the base. De la base. There was no one representing the uh, department Personne because uh, le département. Tamok uh, attended uh, himself. Parce que Tamok était and là. as for the um, uh, military, uh, they would uh, convene, uh, the, uh, they would invite uh, the uh, commanders from the regiment or the division uh, to come. And uh, they also extended the invitation uh, to the district and commune, but to some commune only, not all of them. They were of uh, similar rank, uh, but there were different uh, a task uh, designated to them. That's Les why certain uh, communes attended and others did not. Uh, they uh, had to wait to listen for further instruction from the district. There were uh, a principal of uh, uh, specialty. In other words, uh, they had to listen uh, to the instruction from their upper echelon. Do you remember uh, whether uh, Mayor's Mut Question. was also present during this si uh, meeting in Takeo Provincial Town? Présent dans la réunion qui, lors de la réunion qui a eu lieu dans la, le chef-lieu de province de la province de Takeo. On that day, um, there was no Mihmut. Mihmut n'était pas là. There was one uh, person, he was the, I cannot recall his name, uh, he was the uh, son-in-law of uh, Tamok, uh, he was from the uh, division, but he uh, passed away, he, I, I recall his name now, his name was Ryan. Nah. 
On that day, uh, Mehmud uh, did not attend. Uh, he had raison. another uh, assignment il with uh, Division 2, uh, who was division responsible two. for the corridor between uh, Kampung Spu to Kampung Saum. Soon was there, and Rhein was there. Rhein était là-bas, était présent. He was uh, responsible for uh, the uh, CNU, uh, Kampung Sound port Il and the, port and, uh, the representative from Navy uh, base uh, was also there in the meeting. How long was that? Others, there were representative from all uh, divisions from the southern zone, but there was no representative from the division from the northern zone. Thank you, Mr. Pak Chim. I'm going to be asking you maybe a difficult question uh, in terms of memory. But if you think back of this meeting and the people who attended, uh, do you know if anybody that you saw during this meeting or any person who is still alive si and who could also speak to us about what was being said during the meeting. I do not remember any of them. I only can recall, I only recall uh, that there was uh, Tamok, Pain, Pain, Saum, Saum, and on that day, Kum did not attend. Ce -là, Kum pas he uh, had asked for leave uh, to visit his family. And uh, at the uh, sector level, it was uh, sector 13. And I do not, uh, I do not uh, recall others. Mihmut uh, was not there, but Ryan was there. And uh, Rune was there as well, uh, by, uh, his alias was uh, 05. Um, yesterday, uh, Mr. Pek Chim, you spoke about uh, the problem of uh, revenge killings. Um, killings by soldiers of uh, soldiers out of revenge, if I understood you correctly. Uh, the war had just ended. Was the issue of revenge killings um, due to the war a point of discussion during this meeting? Cette question a-t-elle été abordée à un moment ou à un autre pendant la réunion? It was uh, due to the war that was raging. It was not a personal uh, matter. But, but the war had already ended. Um, the meeting must have been probably after May. La réunion a certainement eu lieu après mai 1975. Cette question a, a point des, of discussion des or, or not at all. vengeance, des actes de vengeance, a-t-elle été mentionnée ou pas no. That was not. Réponse non. Cela n'a pas été mentionné. Um, my last question in relation to this meeting. Um, Une dernière question par rapport à cette you, réunion. You confirmed that it was Tamok who Vous avez spoke. confirmé que Tamok s'était exprimé à l'occasion de cette réunion. Tamok who gave the instruction in relation to uh, ranking officers. Concernant Did Saum himself also soldats? speak? Saum a-t-il également parlé? Whenever Tamok uh, spoke, uh, Saum did not speak. Lorsque Tamok s'exprimait, only Saum when uh, Tamok did not say anything, then uh, he would um, explain. That was the uh, rule. 
uh, and the working procedure, if the senior, if the superior uh, spoke, then uh, the subordinate uh, must not spoke, uh, must not speak. Uh, so. Uh, Saum did not uh, speak at that Saum meeting. Saum ne s'est donc pas exprimé yeah, au cours de cette réunion. And then uh, he asked uh, whether or not people had uh, taken note, whether Ensuite, people had uh, got uh, what was uh, given. So it was that firm and clear. C'est pour que tout soit clair et ferme. Following up on your last answer, when you, Copé, when, the mini, when the meeting was finished and you left, it was crystal clear to you that the uh, instruction was not to touch, not to harm uh, ranking officers of the Lono Army. Is, is, that, is that correct? The President, uh, Deputy Le President. Prosecutor, you may proceed. Le adjoint la uh, yes, uh, Council is again Le leading and actually completely misstating uh, the testimony that uh, has been confirmed. Um, the the instruction not to harm those uh, that was testified to was not to harm the alleged instruction not to harm those between the rank of second lieutenant and colonel. Um, there are five ranks above colonel, five ranks below second lieutenant. Uh, so to uh, now try to lead the witness and suggest this, this meant that all ranking officers, it's, it's one of the reasons I would add you need to call this witness. This information is patently wrong. Uh, it makes no sense. But in any event, uh, you should not be turning testimony about a limited range of ranks into an instruction about all ranking officers. Well, I haven't been in the army myself, but I think second lieutenant is pretty much the lowest ranking uh, officer. But um, let me make it very concrete. Um, Mr. Pekchim, was it clear to you, Pekchim, crystal clear at the end of the day, nouveau, that soldiers si vous, with the ranks from second lieutenant to colonel si were not to be harmed? Pas faire de mal aux soldats de l'ONU à partir du grade de sous-lieutenant jusqu'à celui de colonel. Yes, uh, that what we all understood oui, at that time. Oui, c'est ce que nous avons tous compris à ce and if these ranking officers were not to be harmed, did that necessarily automatically imply that the lower ranking uh, soldiers were, of course, also not to be harmed? Um, I would have no objection to open-ended questions, but he's leading the witness, trying to put words in his mouth. Again, Mr. President, that is standing practice in this court, so I think I'm allowed to do that, to, to uh, ask whether this is the implication. I don't see any uh, problems with this question. You are not allowed to put uh, that kind of questions to the witness as it is a kind of leading questions that would elicit uh, a suggestion or a, a conclusion from the witness. Maybe I can I can seek some guidance. Maybe I just simply do not understand the concept of leading questions, Mr. President. Um, if the prosecution reads a passage from a statement and then asks to confirm, isn't that also a leading question? Um, maybe uh, I need to have some instruction as to what exactly a leading question is in this courtroom. Bah. 
chambers view that that question was a leading question and a witness to instant it not to answer the last question by Nun G's defense as it is considered a leading question by the chamber. I will rephrase um, the question, Mr. Pekchim. Um, the instruction of Tamok in relation to soldiers with the ranks from second Les lieutenant to colonel, de Tamok that they were not to be harmed, that is clear. Um, what was your impression at the time, or what was your understanding at the time, um, what the fate should be of soldiers uh, with no ranks or soldiers with ranks lower than second lieutenant? grade spécifique ou un grade inférieur à celui de sous-lieutenant. Would uh, be spared, as you uh, could imagine, that was logical because for those who were within the ranks from the second lieutenant to colonel, uh, would uh, be spared, uh, would not be touched. And what about um, former military with the rank higher? What was their fate? Supérieur à colonel. Quel était le sort qui leur était réservé? Mendang. I do not know about that. Je n'en sais rien, répond le As the uh, soldiers who arrived at the base, uh, none of them did not have any uh, rank of a lieutenant colonel or Aucun colonel at all. Le grade and mostly de we only uh, received uh, widows. La plupart du temps, nous and as for uh, higher ranking officers, I did not see one at that time. And I don't want to uh, give you uh, a presumption on this Donc issue. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Pekchim, for these answers. Um, I would like to turn now to uh, another subject. Um, and that is. It's only one or two questions I have. Je ou deux um, the treatment of Cham people in your district. Je le we heard de Cham the testimony district. Uh, vous, vous a few weeks ago, Mr. Pak Chim, of a, uh, la a woman femme who um, lived in Cham Kok district, who was and still de is a Cham, qui était et est and she testified Cham. that she was uh, at one point in time, several times actually, forced um, by uh, local cadres to eat pork. Um, do you know anything about uh, local lower ranking cadres forcing charm people to eat pork in Tampok district? ou locaux qui forçaient les Cham à manger du porc dans le district de Tramcock. I heard about that matter which was raised during a meeting. Réponse. The problem was that uh, the dining hall was for uh, communal eating, so in, uh, in that instance the soup was cooked with the pork, donc, and as the uh, Cham people did not eat pork, then the de staff there uh, gave them different uh, soup, uh, probably fish, if Une not fish, then they gave, uh, they gave them si something else to eat instead of pork. Chose, au lieu du porc. 
and that's how they resolved the issue. So it is my understanding that those young people were not forced to eat the pork as they issue was resolved by the uh, people working there. Um, thank you for this answer, Mr. Pekchim. Um, another topic. Um, what can you tell us about the treatment of um, Vietnamese people living in Tram Cock district uh, between 1975, April 75, and the moment you left, uh, spring 1976. Vietnam people issue had been resolved when they were exchanged to return to Vietnam. And in certain instances, when the husbands were Vietnamese, some of them decided to return to Vietnam and left behind their wives. And in other instances, they would share the, the children. For example, one child would uh, return to Vietnam with the husband, and another child would uh, remain in Cambodia with the wife. And uh, to my understanding, that's how we resolve the Vietnamese people issue, and that principle applied uh, through the later years of the regime as well. So I would like to make everybody clear on this Donc, issue and the principle regarding the dealing with the Vietnamese people. Au sujet du traitement At des that Vietnam. time, while I was there, we tried to apply the principle uh, in a, a better way, although sometimes there uh, were shortcomings, si and after I left, I believed they Quand would do the same. Parti, a As the situation uh, kept changing, so I cannot say for sure uh, whether the uh, principle had been applied si in a manner a that I had applied before I left. Are you aware in the time that you were functioning in Tramcock district um, of any maltreatment uh, of Vietnamese people or even execution? Dans le district executions de of Vietnamese people. Vous il y avait des executions ou des mauvais traitements des Vietnamiens? No, there was no such thing. No. Because Vietnamese uh, had been severely mistreated by the for, former lunar regime. And when we took control of the country, we considered the Vietnamese people as our ally or our friends. And when we proposed that they should return to Vietnam, and only two days later, they all agreed to return to Vietnam. Ils avaient tous because now à au there were no more uh, troubles for them in uh, trying to return to Vietnam, and we made that arrangement for them to do so. De, cela ne, on plus de so for those Vietnam who had uh, come to Cambodia Vietnam, before, returned after we made that uh, proposal, and we did that based on the guidelines or instructions from the upper echelon, that is uh, from Tam Mok. De and let me restate that uh, nouveau, they redis, had been mistreated uh, by the former regime, that is the former lunar regime, regime in particular London, by the former lunar soldiers. Some, ah. 
President, uh, thank you. President, it is now convenient to, to take a short break. We take a break now and resume at 10.30. Court officer, please uh, assist the witness in the room for the witnesses and civil parties. And at 10.30, invite him as well as the duty council back into the courtroom. The court is now in recess.